Thank you, Chairwoman Napolitano and all the subcommittee members. And thank you for the time to talk about WERDA today. I represent Texas 22, southwestern suburbs of Houston, Texas. We have many monikers, many names. We're called the energy capital of the entire world, Space City, USA, and the biggest city to be straight in the heart of Hurricane Alley. It's not a matter of if, but when the next hurricane will hit my home. And that's a fact of life on the Gulf Coast. Because of these examples of what's happened in the past, we suffered the worst natural disaster in our country's history, the Galveston hurricane of 1900. 12,000 Texans killed with no chance to survive. We had Carla hit us in 1961, the strongest hurricane ever to develop in the Gulf of Mexico. Alicia, 1983, flooded out the Texas Medical Center. Hurricane Ike in 2008, with a rebound effect for storm surge through the Galveston Bay. And in 2017, we all know, Hurricane Harvey hit us not once, but twice. Because of these facts, local leaders throughout Texas 22 wake up each morning looking for new, innovative ways to provide needed safety to our region. And elected officials like us work to ensure the federal government is using resources wisely so communities that are prepared when disaster strikes. As you all know, our Corps of Engineers is tasked with building most of our levees and our protection systems, our dams. And they have a tremendous backlog right now, approaching $100 billion. There's a way we can help that out and get these projects going quicker by utilizing Section 1043. That gives non-federal entities, local cities, the authorization to conduct, construct Army Corps projects. The Corps granted Section 1043 authorization for the Clear Creek Flood Risk Management Project in my district. That project was 50 years in the making. That was the first time ever that such an authorization was provided for a complete project. This allows Harris County, the Flood Control District, the non-federal sponsor, to move quickly to construct the Clear Creek Project, the first, again, authorized five decades ago to provide flood protection for thousands of people living in harm's way right now. However, this process required a very rushed time frame because Congress failed to authorize 1043 during the 2018 Word of Bill. The program expired on June 11th of 2019. This required the Harris County Flood Control District to move quickly, because they had sole responsibility to make this project happen as quickly as possible. They cut a lot of corners before the shot clock hit zero. And that's why I asked that Section 1043A and 1043B of the 2014 WERDA be reinstated. Every community that wishes to pursue such authorization should have the chance to do so. Authorizing current projects funded through disaster supplementals is helpful, and Congress should keep making those moves. Finally, I want to talk about lessons learned from Hurricane Harvey, which hit my home state first time August 25th of 2017, a second time two days later. It became the costliest storm in our history, with damages coming around $190 billion. According to our local paper, the Houston Chronicle, Texas had led the nation in flood-related deaths for the last 50 years. And we did great work in Congress for Hurricane Harvey, came together quickly and got them record levels of money in a very short time to help these communities recover as quickly as possible. But we are disappointed once again by restrictions in federal law that allows this money to be used to rebuild flooded structures, 
but not to prevent future flooding. Um, um, so I'll, I'll yield my other comments for the committee, and thank you so much for the time. <clears throat> thank you so much. Uh, 